Hello and welcome to the Trading Bell. My name is Nokit Kimboy. Now, our securities market is one that is evolving by the day. New innovation coming in to make sure that the market is growing and also becoming more inclusive. We understand that by volumes, the players who own stocks in our Nairobi Securities Exchange is almost 81%, but the value of the stocks is lower compared to foreign investors. So some of this innovation is there a concerted effort to have also more retail investors locally coming in play and engaging in our markets, making it more liquid. Well, today we'll have a conversation around one of the innovative moves to make sure that the market is growing and this touches on securities, lending and borrowing platform. I'm joined by the Central Depository and Settlement Corporation CEO, Mr. Nkore Gamba Mwabesa. And before we do much, let's take a look at his profile, shall we? Nkore Gamba Mwabesa is the Chief Executive Officer of CDSA. Central Depository Settlement Corporation. He has more than 25 years experience in the financial services sector in the East Africa region. Mobesa has been involved in a number of key landmark transactions including multiple equity listings, debt listings and rights issues and on the East African exchanges. He has previously served as Managing Director of Stanley Kenya Limited Chief Executive of SBG Securities Limited and as the Chief Executive Officer of the Nairobi Securities Exchange. You can see from his experience, he's in a position of authority to comment on this particular issue, especially knowing the role of Central Depository and Settlement Corporation in this journey. Mr. Mwabesha, welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, starting off, securities lending and borrowing. This is quite a concept when it comes to securities market, but it has not been happening uh, locally as we assume. Bring us up to date. What is this? Um, so, allow me to call it SLB. We use that acronym. Uh, securities lending and borrowing can be a bit of a mouthful, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a very, very simple concept. Yeah. As you say, it's not uh, been done before, formally I would say in this market, but I believe um, there are pockets of um, transactions that happen where um, assets are lent um, for a particular period and then returned back to the owner. So basically what are we saying? Um, if you have an asset, and in this case we're talking about equities listed on the securities exchange, that you do not um, want to sell at this point in time. Uh, you're holding them, maybe for whatever reason, uh, you've got obligations in the future, for example, like a pension scheme. Instead of letting them lie idle in your CDS account, there's now an opportunity to actually lend them for a fee to a borrower who has his own trading strategy uh, as far as the securities market is concerned. Um, the shares will be returned to you, the equities will be returned to you, you will earn a fee, and um, the borrower will do his own trading strategy with that and also make his own return. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a very simple process. It's just the way banks lend money because the, the, the banks lend money because they're sitting on these assets. You go and deposit your money in the bank, it's aggregated with other depositors and the bank has a pool to lend to people who require um, credit. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the same concept. Oh. Uh, only here it will be managed on our platform as CDSE and we are uh, guaranteeing the, the entire process so we are acting almost like a central counterparty uh, to make sure that uh, those who lend do not um, uh, lose their shares um, or their assets for that matter uh, and on the other hand those that borrow um, will actually return uh, the assets to, 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 to the lenders. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's go back. In yeah. April 2020 uh, you are admitted by CMA to their regulatory sandbox and um, this has been a journey now here in 2022. Uh, outline for us in brief what was the process as being part of this particular sandbox? What were you trying to tweak over, over the two year period or one year period because you're in early 2022 yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually on this particular product? Okay, so the reason that we requested to be admitted to the sandbox was, as you say, was to test um, the platform. 
uh, was to engage with all our stakeholders, users of the platform, our CDS account holders, uh, to be able to see how best to roll out um, the, the platform. Now, um, Securities Lending and Borrowing has two general formats. Um, you can have what we call a bilateral arrangement, where as a borrower or as a lender, I seek out the other counterparty and we enter into a private arrangement where I'll borrow your securities and uh, return them at a certain point in time. This is uh, the interest that I'm going to pay. Um, we work out the economics and we sign off. Um, there are other parties that will probably be involved to make sure that the assets are held somewhere um, uh, or have somebody has oversight of, of not, not necessarily held somewhere, but there's, there's that, that agreement is, 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 is sort of um, supervised by someone, you know, maybe a legal uh, entity or something, a, a legal firm or something like that. Um, so that's the bilateral one. And it does happen, like I said, there are pockets of that. Um, I think mostly maybe in the fixed income market, um, the banks do run those, those sort of arrangements. And that is what is, was initially um, envisaged by the, by the law, uh, by the Capital Markets Authority. Now, um, what we are proposing, or not, not proposing, we're beyond proposal, what we are bringing to the market or what we have brought to the market is um, what we call a screen-based model. So the screen-based model is where uh, it's all anonymous. If you want to lend your shares, um, you go to your agent, who's um, uh, the, an agent of the Central Depository and Settlement Corporation, of the CDSE, and uh, you say, My, these shares, uh, I want to make them available um, for lending. They are then um, ring-fenced on the system. Uh, and on the other side are people looking to borrow. Uh, again, they're anonymous. They'll go to their agents and uh, request, um, say, look, I'm, I'm looking to borrow, um, you know, Safaricom shares um, for this period. So um, our system then puts those two people together, just pretty much like what happens in the securities uh, secondary market for trading. Um, so it's almost like a trading platform. So because it was not really envisaged in uh, the law, I think the law came about with a more bilateral process. Uh, we needed to test it. We needed to test our platform, which we believe is very robust. Uh, we needed to get um, buy-in from all stakeholders. Uh, we needed people to understand it. So during that period, we were testing it. We had some transactions go through. Uh, we had uh, some that went through to the end. Uh, there were uh, pockets of um, uh, demand and supply. So people who had put their uh, shares up for borrowing and people who are looking to, um, to, to, to uh, People put their shares up for lending and people are looking to, to borrow. Mm -hmm. um, we did a wide canvas of all uh, stakeholders. Um, we believe that, for example, the pension industry is probably going to be the biggest um, uh, provider of uh, securities for, uh, for borrowing. They'll be the biggest lenders. Okay. And so we had discussions with, um, with the pension schemes, with their fund managers, with custodians. And even with the regulator, the pension regulator, the Retirement Benefits Authority, mm -hmm. who during that period gave a no objection after they understood the platform uh, to pension schemes to be able to participate. That is a very big plus for us mm -hmm. uh, because some jurisdictions, um, larger markets and ours, are actually not allowed to participate for one reason or another. Right. But we believe um, for a screen-based model, it's a lot easier for those kind of, um, and a lot safer Mm. for those kind of, um, of lenders. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. quite interesting yeah. because you've mentioned these two models and I'm thinking the issue of anonymity, quite amazing. Um, maybe outline for us, of course, at the far end you've also mentioned the issue of safety. What are the, what are the outright benefits of on-screen uh, SLB model? Uh, other than the anonymity and the safety okay. aspect of it? So first, obviously, you have the CDSC sitting in the middle and um, midwifing everything. Uh, so um, that comes with an element of guarantee. Um, we will know who has lent, we'll know who has borrowed, and we will make sure that the transactions actually go through to the end and um, you get your shares back. Now, for borrowers, 
uh, they need to provide uh, collateral, just as you do when you borrow from a bank. Um, this is not micro lending, this is proper, proper uh, borrowing and lending. So you will need to have um, a collateral, um, which at the moment is cash. We are looking at other near cash um, uh, assets as well. Um, we hope that in, in time we'll be able to use uh, treasuries mm -hmm. um, and, uh, um, and, and other assets. So your collateral will come with a margin which at present as we go live is 10% uh, which will be marked to market on a daily basis and uh, if one needs to top up uh, then the uh, your agent who you borrowed through will call for that, will, will do a margin call. So that gives the extra um, um, added um, security to the lender that whoever is borrowing my shares uh, and you know it's all fungible at this point in time, but we know you've lent your shares. Um, will actually be able to to make good. So the the the, the margin or the the uh, collateral and the margin uh, would only come into play for us to deploy if the borrower is unable to, for, for whatever reason, to pay at the end of the period to return the shares. Mm -hmm. Then we shall go into the market and use those funds to acquire the shares on behalf of the borrower and return uh, the shares to the borrower. Oh, that's quite interesting, yeah. collateral. Yes. Uh, so there is an extra buffer to it yeah. and also CDSC, uh, you are incredible at what you do. So yeah. just that confidence by itself. I'm looking at the, at the impact on the different kinds of investors. Yeah. You've mentioned, you know, pension yeah. industry is very keen on this particular platform. Yeah. Um, what impact are we expecting the balance between institutional investors and when you talk about retail investors? Okay, um, maybe it's early days to be able to discern that, but I think our, our model works for both sides. Um, it will be very difficult for a retail investor to do a bilateral um, uh, transaction or um, lending and borrowing transaction um, because of the volumes. Um, so we believe that um, it works for very well for the retailers. For the institutions, um, again, we're taking away that headache of having to look for, uh, for a counterparty. We're taking that headache for you of having to pay um, other fees um, to either uh, legal firms, law firms, or, uh, or or banks for you to be able to do uh, to to borrow the the shares or to lend the shares. So we, we believe the platform really works for everyone. Um, we think um, it could be skewed just as the secondary market is towards the institutions if they really come on board, um, and we believe that they should. Um, just to talk a little bit about pensions, um, which is an industry I've been involved in um, for many years. So the pension sector um, have long-term obligations. Looking at uh, the implications uh, of the overall uh, securities markets in the country, uh, we understand the innovation. It's sort of a boost. Uh, it normally takes the market forward, boosts participation, and are also players within. So for, for the overall impact of, of this particular platform coming to at play uh, in, in our market, uh, what, what do we expect from the rollout? What is the short-term expectation overall on the market and long-term expectation? So um, we believe there's still a lot of um uh, aware, uh, well, awareness is probably not the right term. We've done a lot of, um, like I said, um, you know, we've, we've talked to a lot of our stakeholders. We've done a lot of um, interventions to bring people on board and for people to understand. Um, but I think there's still some more work to be done, um, which we shall continue doing. So as we roll out, and we're actually rolling out this week, um, the, we got the approval uh, to exit the sandbox on Monday from okay. the Capital Markets Authority. So we're actually now in a live environment for the securities lending and borrowing. Uh, 
Okay. So we'll continue to educate the market, we'll continue to create more awareness, we'll continue to speak with uh, stakeholders. So in the short term, I think um, there will be, um, uh, maybe the, the uptake might not be as, as fast as it should be, but in the long term, uh, we think that this product should really work. Uh, why do I say that? There have been other um, interventions that have come into the market mostly from the securities exchange. And all these things are supposed to be comp complementary. So the derivatives market has not been as great as it should have been. It works, people use it. Um, the day trading uh, that was also launched last year by the securities exchange, um, all these um, new uh, platforms or arenas are really complementary. And we believe securities lending and borrowing will add into that. So in the long term, we believe uh, we should have a robust market. Uh, the model we have chosen is um, one that we borrowed from uh, other markets. I think it's used in India and in Brazil. Um, so, it, you know, those are big securities markets. Yes. And, uh, you know, like the National Stock Exchange of India is the largest derivatives market uh, on the globe. So they have um, all these things that come together to make sure that all other pockets can work. And we believe that uh, um, you know the securities lending and borrowing platform was long overdue. Oh, that, that's that's amazing. Yeah. Now we are at the rollout stage. Yeah. Uh, we are going live already. Yeah. Um, from a regulatory perspective, especially understanding the the issue of capital markets uh, regulations, you say there is uh, we should tweak. Uh, the regulations to accommodate has that already been done or yeah the, the regulations have been approved okay um, as we go along mm -hmm. we will look to see where we can improve them so they're not cast in stone already we have some ideas of some of the things that can be changed to encourage more uh, participation so we'll continue to engage with the regulator but the regulations that we presented during the sandbox have been approved and um, we are going, we are, we are, as you say, we are live. So just to put it in perspective, the, the, what we were testing in the sandbox was a really almost a live environment. It's just that it was, had a lot more oversight and we were very um, careful about who we admitted uh, to actually participate. Now we are going uh, live in the market uh, and uh, we now want everyone to participate because we've tested it, we've seen it works um, and there are no kinks. Uh, as such, but there might be uh, requirements to either, um, you know, to maybe relax some provisions mm -hmm. to allow more more participation. Ah, that's, yeah, that's, that's but, very but as, as you speak now, mm -hmm. it's 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 a live environment. Wow, that's yeah. that's that's incredible, yeah. and uh, I'm glad you've you've outlined the issue of uh, for starters any any new product. There is a little bit of, of, of slow uptake yeah. skepticism, yeah. but as time goes by, you know, it, it gains more traction. Yeah. Uh, looking at the sandbox environment, which was a live environment, as you say, but, you know, more oversight. Yeah. Um, the, the people that you are using in that environment, are they the initial lot? Uh, what is the participation like in this starting phase? Okay. So, um yeah, what we, we signed up, I think, about just under 10, um, I think there were eight, um, what we're calling SLB agents, mm -hmm. who are already our central depository agents. Now, we've, uh, the central depository agents are basically the uh, members of the stock exchange, uh, custodian banks, um, and some uh, insurance companies and other um, uh, public sector institutions that participate in the market. Now. Uh, we had eight of those sign up. We went through a little bit more of a rigorous um, review of their application uh, for them to be able to participate in the sandbox. Mm -hmm. uh, those are already um, agents and they are free to participate right now. Mm -hmm. So we're in the process of now onboarding. Um, we'll soon start the process of onboarding um, everybody else uh, to be able to, to participate. Right. Yeah. Um, one of the things we think uh, SLB will do, apart from uh, enabling some of the other platforms like maybe derivatives and, and day trading, is also the secondary market. Mm -hmm. um, if it picks up 
um, like we've seen in other countries. We think that um, the law, it, it would improve turnover at, in the secondary trading market. Why do you say that? It's very simple. It, you, there's no one who's going to borrow shares to hold them. You're not getting any entitlements. Uh, you have to return them at some point in view. So there's, there's, there's no reason why you borrow if you're not going back into the market mm. to sell those shares. Yes. And to return them, you have to go back into the market and buy those shares, or those securities. So we believe if it picks up, it should also drive uh, turnover at the, at the securities market. All right. Yeah, That yeah. really probably should be the, the most, um, to your earlier question about, you know, where do we see this going and how is it going to affect market. So it's not so much just about SLB. Yes. We want it to be successful, but it must drive all these other platforms as well. Definitely. Yeah. Very important. And I'm, I'm glad you've mentioned the issue of, you know, uh, the evolution. Because there is also normally sort of, of expectation when you have a new product. Uh, but you've said as time goes by, yeah. we are refining the product uh, to get better yeah. with time. And I'm glad that it is live. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for your input. And um, let's hope now the impact shall be seen. Um, interest, especially the issue of, of interest, people showing interest. Uh, you've done a lot of awareness um, for this particular product. How much interest are we seeing from the market? Is there a hunger for it? Is there something that uh, maybe this pandemic period has opened, uh, has been an eye-opening you know, moment for, for a lot of players in, in this game? Um, well, I, I don't really have the data to, to answer that. Um, with conviction, but I would say certainly there must be uh, people who have realized that, look, we were sitting in a period of two years where ne nothing was going on, I was sitting on these shares, I needed liquidity um, or I needed, um, you know, some return. Uh, certainly I think, uh, you know, that would work out. There could be other people on the borrowing side who would be like, um, if I'd been able to do this, uh, borrow shares and, and work out this strategy, maybe I'd have made a little bit extra return that could have helped my fortunes during uh, the downturn that we all experienced in the last two years. So I, I th we don't have the data. Maybe we can try and see if we can get data sets to support that relationship. But um, I think um, intuitively it makes sense. Um, but beyond that, there's been, I think there's, there's, they, 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 there is pent up demand. It's just the way we go about, to, especially on the lending side, uh, for people to sweat the assets. It's, it's, it'll just be important that we go about it very deliberately and, and, and get the right, right touch points to get people to, to be able to come uh, to the market. Now, one important thing is that the bilateral um, um, S, uh, lending and borrowing is, has not been dispensed with. It is still in, in um, one of the methods one can use in this market. And what we want to do is to bed down uh, the, the, um, the, the, the screen-based model and then see how we can enable uh, also bilateral because there might be some people who don't want, they, want, they, they, they don't want to, um, it's not so much they don't want to be anonymous but they want to be able to know who they are dealing with on the other side mm -hmm. and, and in any case those, that has to be enabled by the CDSC because that's where the shares sit um, in our depository. So, um, uh, another phase of this will be to look at how to enable uh, bilateral. But we believe for all participants, uh, from a universal perspective, uh, the screen-based model is the best for our market, mm -hmm. but we shall enable bilateral as we go along. Definitely. Yeah. Complementary. Absolutely. Uh, the, the two models. Yeah. So thank you very much, Mr. Nkorigamba Mobesha, CEO, Central Depository and Settlement Corporation, and that is the latest on screen based securities lending and borrowing and now it is live the impact shall be seen and with that it will also be working complementary with the bilateral uh, slb model that has been practiced so it's a matter of having innovation come into the market work with what we already have to make sure that we are having a better a more active and even a more liquid market at the end of the day well, let's take a look at the markets, shall we?